My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. I'm going to give you my favorite prize picks entry for UFC Vegas 71. If you don't know what prize picks is, it's daily fantasy. You come in here, you say more or less than the numbers you see on the screen, and you can go ahead and five times your money, 10 times your money. You could even do a flexible payout so you're wrong and still win. Let's say you pick three, you get one wrong, you still get paid, you still make some money. WeWantPicks.com slash prize picks, and they're gonna instantly match your deposit. If you give them 100, they'll give you 100. If you give them 50, they'll give you 50. So head on over to WeWantPicks.com slash prize picks. The promo code is WWP, and they will instantly match that deposit. Take that very free money and build yourself an entry. And let's hop in. This is a little bit of a tricky week. I do like a couple of fight minute entries here. So for example, I really like Karina Silva over 10 minutes. She's fighting Priscilla Kachera. Priscilla Kachera's stupid tough. Karina Silva got the grappling credentials, hasn't really been to a decision. So it could be dicey in that regard, but I see her working forward, getting some takedowns. And I think this fight is going to go a little longer, right? Is it going to go to a decision? I'm not sure. Honestly, it, it may not. But I just need this to get through the first two rounds. And in all likelihood, that is what's going to happen. So I like the more on fight minutes with her. And then if we take a look at Brad Tavares, I like the more on him as well. So again, it's 10 minutes. It's two rounds. And Brad Tavares is not a dangerous guy. He could very well win this fight, but he's not dangerous. He's not going to knock you out with one punch. He's not going to take you down and submit you. He's going to stay tough. He's going to stay busy, and he'll work his way to a decision win. Bruno Silva can get you out of there early, but Brad Tavares has a chin on him. He's a crafty veteran. Regardless of who you think wins, I think this fight will make its way to the third round, hence the more than 10 fight minutes. The rest of these are tricky. Montel Jackson could get Ronnie Yaya out of there fast. Junior Tafa could get Muhammad Usman out of there fast or get put out. Dana Bagarai, same thing. Brady Highstand, this is probably a more as well, but I'm going to leave it alone because, you know, Dana hits like a freight train. He hits like an absolute freight train. Francis Marshall, this is saying it goes to a decision. Honestly, it probably doesn't. So a less there is probably your play. And then Jeremiah Wells, Matt Samuelsberger, leave that alone because who the hell knows what's going to happen there. We also have takedown lines. I didn't love any of these. Francis Marshall, two takedowns. He probably gets past that. He probably does get past that. But again, I'm going to leave it. He may come out here guns slanging, throwing that big power. Montel Jackson, one and a half takedowns. The problem with that is he needs no takedowns. He can knock Ronnie Yaya out immediately. He does not need to shoot takedowns. He does shoot takedowns and he does them often, but doesn't need to in this fight. So I don't know if his brain or his instincts are going to take over. If his instincts take over, he's going to blow past one and a half. If his brain sets in, hey, why would I go on the ground with a more dangerous guy? I can knock him out. Then he's not going to get anywhere near that. So we'll leave that alone. Karina Silver, Priscilla Cachera. You know, Priscilla Kachera is tough. This is probably more than one and a half. She probably does get two takedowns, uh, but I trust the fight time more than that. And then Curtis Blades, he might only need one. He may get knocked out in a half a second. If we look at fantasy score, what I like to do with fantasy score is find somebody that either I think is going to lose, so I'll do the under, or somebody that I think is going to win and they're not giving them enough points here. And now I'm going to do that with Bobby Green. We're going to go more here. I think Bobby Green is going to land as many punches as he wants to. I think he's going to go ahead and probably get a stoppage in here as well. So I like Bobby Green to get it done. You also, in prize pick scoring, you get points for defending takedowns. I imagine Jared Gordon's going to shoot a couple of takedowns. And let's see if we can see what that fantasy score is. Scoring chart, MMA, takedown defense. Three points for every defended takedown. Bobby Green has very good takedown defense. Jared Gordon's going to be losing the strike exchanges, probably diving at legs. Bobby Green will rack up some points there. So that's what I like for my entry. He can go to significant strikes. The only one here that I kind of like is Bobby Green at 84 and a half. I like the less, but frankly, you're going to get a better line at underdog. So you can go play the underdog line at 87. It's three strikes. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but when you're playing the under, three strikes matters. Guys, we want picks.com slash prize picks. That promo code is WWP and they will instantly match your deposit. Take that very free money. Build yourself an entry. You can build mine or you can build your own. I've already got this going. Uh, you see that here? I've already got this going. So guys, we want picks.com. Sign up. Take the free money. Build your own entry. That promo code is WWP.